Hi, Craig here from Keyboard Corner. I'm just having a look at the new Yamaha CLP500 series digital pianos. We've got the CLP535 and the 545 here. Just unpacked them this morning and just running through my initial thoughts on them. The two share, have, have shared the same functionality between the models. So you've got the same control panel, same samples. Function-wise, they're absolutely identical. Uh, you've just got a couple of updated or improved functions when you get up to the CLP for, for, uh, the CLP545. What, what you immediately see is the, the change in the control panel here from the, from the old models. So Yamaha removed the entire control panel to the left hand side. So no longer do you have it all up above, but you've got a, a fairly compact design with a, with a nice size LCD display on there to, to show you and it's quite intuitive to find your way through the menus on there. Now, the first thing Yamaha have improved as far as the pianos go is the actual sample. So you've got a, a CFX Grand, which is Yamaha's top of the range grand piano. So your piano sound is this. Now they've also added on a Bosendorfer Grand sample, which we've never seen before on the CLP series. So your Bosendorfer sounds like this. Now Yamaha have also updated the electric piano sounds on this and you've got a lot better selection of electric pianos from what you had on the old series. So if we have a listen to the first one, which is the stage electric piano. Okay, we've got a DX electric piano. This is pretty similar to what's always been there. Vintage piano, uh, soft electric piano, a phaser electric piano, along with a couple of others. So some some really nice improvements there. Now the on the old series with the CLP 430, uh, it, it, one of the main difference or major differences was it didn't have the ability to split, to split the keyboard. On these two models, functionality being shared, you can actually split the keyboard on either model. So you can have your, your piano with your bass sound on there, as well as being able to do dual voices as well, which yeah, has been pretty common for, for uh, being able to do that on Yamaha pianos for quite a while. Another new thing, uh, Yamaha used to offer a, a two-track recorder on the CLPs. They've actually improved that to a huge 16 tracks. So you can actually record your full full scores and things on here now uh, with, with any of the sounds that are built into it. The um, Action is the new GH3X Action. Now, between the two instruments, this is another, another fundamental difference. The uh, CLP535 has plastic keys. The 545 actually has the wooden jig inserts um, that we've only seen on the, the highest models in the previous series. Now you've also got a difference in the speaker system. So the uh, 535 has uh, 30 watts per channel, so left and right 30 watts, and two speakers. On the 545, you've got two 25 watt uh, amplifiers per channel. Uh, and you've got four speakers there. So you, you've got significantly more power uh, on the CLP545. Same style uh, roll top lid that, that we've seen for a long time. Um, and cabinet design is, has, has stayed fairly similar to what it was in the previous models. A little shallower though, so if, if you're a little bit tight on space, it will fit into the, those smaller spaces a little bit easier. Um, with the CLP series, they do come in basically as a flat pack in their box, so they do require some basic assembly. You've got the stand, which comes in four pieces, that needs to be all put together, then the piano sits on the top of it. 
uh, it's, it's, it's fairly straightforward to do. It is something if you're local, we're certainly able to do for you. Um, if, you if you're interstate, it does require that, that setup. Overall, I think they've, they've added some nice improvements here onto the pianos. I uh, look forward to getting a little bit deeper into them. But yeah, I, I think it's a, a pretty, pretty good improvement on the old series.